All right then guys, welcome back to another video. As you will see from the title and the thumbnail, this is an extremely special video. It's huge! Yes, that's right. I am going to be introducing you to my new baby. And right now, I've got to be honest, it's a week before we're due, so I don't even know who it is. I don't know if we're having a boy, a girl, I don't know if they're going to have hair, I don't know if they're going to like me. All I know is I'm excited. I'm a little bit scared. Hell is heavily pregnant. We are 38 weeks. No, we're not. 30, we're 39 weeks. I just wanted to do this video to show you everything that happened during labour. No, that is absolutely not going to happen. I'm going to do this quick intro. I'm going to get a quick chat with Kel and Joshua and then introduce you to him or her. I, as I said, I don't know. All I do know is that I'm very excited. Joshua's very excited. He's just over here watching his iPad because he doesn't know what else to do. He can't contain his excitement to meet his brother or sister. Joshua, how you doing, mate? Are you all right? Are you good? Are you excited? Right, let me just stop that for one second. Why are you not watching our videos, mate? Come on, you gotta up our views a little bit. Can I just get a quick chat with you and ask you a couple of things? Are you excited about being a big brother? Yeah, it's gonna happen very soon. Where is the baby at the minute? It's in mummy's tummy. It's in mummy's tummy, but soon it's gonna come out to meet us, isn't it? And do you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? Um, a boy. You're gonna be a big brother to a boy? Well, whoever it is, if it's a boy or a girl, it's gonna be incredible, isn't it? And we're gonna have some really amazing times, aren't we? He's speechless, he's not often speechless, but when we talk about the baby, he is. Mwah. Okay, I love you. Right, I'm gonna go have a quick chat with mummy. You enjoy watching your iPad, okay? Don't overdo it, okay? Just because it's gonna be some late nights, it's gonna be not a lot of sleep, so right now you just need to relax a little bit. Is that okay? Great stuff. Right, let's go and find Kel. Kelly, are you decent? Here she is, and there, there's a baby in there. Um, just a quick, yeah, sorry, I, I, know, I know you know that. Cal has been shrugging a little bit, haven't you? Hair looks nice though. Um, you've been a bit ill. Uh, yeah, the last month has been interesting. It's been a bit interesting, but we are going swimming now. Well, the, wh the whale wants to swim, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> we went to Isle of Wight Festival a month or so ago, came back, I got COVID, gave you COVID, you had COVID badly. Then after that, you decided to get a chest infection. And then after that, you decided to get a sickness bug. Yeah. And now you've decided that you're not going to have anything else. You're just going to deal with general pregnancy. Yeah, which is, you know, is enough, especially in that heat wave that we had, 40 degree heat. Imagine, well, you would have gone for it if you're viewing this from the UK. We doubled in size. Yeah, that's probably a nice way of saying it. She was very swollen. I didn't recognize those ankles at all. I've asked Joshua, he actually said, funnily enough, he's always said girl, hasn't he? He said a boy. Really? Um, and it's going to be a surprise, but, just, just hit me with one, boy or girl? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. We've asked family members and close friends, probably about 15 people, 95% um, of them think it's gonna be a girl. But I think that's purely because we've got a boy, so they're thinking a girl would be nice, a girl would be amazing, but also a boy would be amazing, because we know because Joshua is amazing, so when we see Kelly next, there won't be a baby in there, if only it was that quick and easy. Um, <laughs> Let's hope it is that quick and easy. Yeah. She's amazing, she's been an absolute trooper. Anything else to say? My arm's killing as well, so keep it quick because I've been holding this camera for that's, ages. That's it. It's tough actually holding the camera. Is it really tough? Really tough, you should experience it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we did some measurements and you are... We did some measurements again, please. Yeah, we do. You were two inches bigger with this baby than you were with Joshua. Yes. So she's definitely feeling it and as you can see there... Good bump. That is an impressive bump. Look, for the back, you wouldn't even know she was pregnant. It's definitely been harder this time around. I think that's a mixture of already having one, um, obviously being a bit poorly, and just feeling a lot heavier. It could literally be any minute. We could go swimming right now, and you could have a water bath. <laughs> well, not in that pool. <laughs> I hope not. Well, this might make you feel a little bit better. An African bush elephant is pregnant for 22 months. <laughs> so feel for them, all right? You've got it easy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Cheers, Kel. See you in a bit. Yeah, just for the record, I uh, don't recommend saying that to any pregnant woman. I only got away with that because I'm filming. We have got a pink box and a blue box. Yes, high budget stuff here on the channel. A pink box would be for a boy or a girl? Um, a boy. And blue would be for? A girl. Oh, okay. Interesting. So for the purposes of this, we're going to ignore what Joshua just said. I'm going to go pink for girl and blue for boy. Okay? Yeah, it makes more sense. Okay, Dad. He's now enjoying his lunch, but I forgot to ask you one question. Just one more, is that all right? When you meet the baby, what is the first thing that you're gonna do? I'm gonna kiss and a cuddle. Oh, you are gorgeous. All right, I'll leave you to your food now. Do you wanna kiss the camera here? No, oh, get those chops away. 
Everybody always says, oh, which do you prefer? Would you rather have a boy or a girl? And I can honestly say, and I want to be really truthful with this, I think naturally because we've got a boy, oh, it'd be amazing to have a girl as well. But don't get me wrong, if we have another boy, knowing how much joy Joshua has brought to us over the last three years, the chance to have another boy, add to the five-a-side team, it will just be amazing. So we really don't care. We just want this baby to be safe and well, and we can't wait to meet them. And Joshua is just gonna be such a good big brother. He's already so loving, so caring. It's gonna be a big change for us. We've done this before, obviously, but we've never done it whilst we've already had a child. It's gonna be doubly mad, it's gonna be doubly crazy, but I'm sure it's gonna be double the fun. So in order to reveal the new addition, I was thinking I'm gonna hang those boxes that I just showed you up in the goal, and whichever one I hit, that is gonna reveal obviously whether we've had a boy or a girl. The good news for you guys is watching, you're just gonna see a trick shot. It's as simple as that. Blue for boy, pink for girl, and whichever one I hit is gonna reveal the gender of the baby, and then we're gonna introduce you to them. Are you ready? I think you are, I hope you are. Drop the video with a thumbs up right now if you haven't already. <sighs> now is the time, now is the moment, let's go. certain moments of destiny. Arguably the most recognisable footballer in the world. Oh! Astonishing! I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again! So watch it! Drink it in! Unbelievable! Guys, let me introduce you to my daughter. Sophia Ray Cutting. Here she is, she's amazing. She's three days old and all I can say is I could not have made this video a day sooner because it's been, I've been too emotional, I've been too overwhelmed, been too, I, I, I literally haven't even got the words to say to describe how I feel about her. It's brought back so many memories with Joshua. She looks almost identical to him other than the fact that he wasn't in pink. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Hello in there. That is my baby. Is it your baby? Your baby, no it's your. It's your sister. And what's her name? Do you remember? I don't know. <laughs> He's been struggling with the name. Sophia. What's her name? Sophia. Sophia. She's here. Can you give her a little kiss? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've got a little boy who actually, when you see Sophia, you realise he's not so little anymore. <laughs> Look how heavy you are compared to her. Just to say, she obviously wasn't in the box when I did the trick shot. I just wanted to clear that up. I still can't believe this. I'm gonna try and keep this section as short as possible. Probably won't be shouting like I normally do in videos. Oh, she is just sleeping right now. Just look at her. She is absolutely perfect. I can't believe it. Her favorite position is up like this. I wouldn't have been able to make this video any sooner than three days because I think I would have just cried the whole way through it. First up, with everything that Kel was going through, you just, she's my absolute hero and I love her so much. So a massive shout out to Kel. Sophia was actually born really, really quickly. So I filmed the first section of this when we were 38 weeks. We actually nearly went to 42 weeks. So it's nearly a month later. Um, she was nearly two weeks overdue. Went into hospital, we were induced, and then we came home, and we almost didn't make it back to the hospital. Kel started having contractions that came on so quick, intense, emotional, overwhelming, the whole experience was. Kel's water's broke at home, I got her in the car, we got to the hospital as soon as possible. It's a six minute car journey, let me tell you, it felt like 60. And Sophia was born 20 minutes later after we arrived at the hospital, so there was no messing around. With Joshua, it was three days of contractions. The good news is, Kelly's safe, this little one is safe and well, and we just love her so much. And I can't believe I've got a daughter. I've had a couple of days to try and process things. It's gonna take a lot longer, but what, what an absolute gift she already is. Hello? What's that? It's Joshua. You wanna come in and see everyone? Oh, you've got a snotty nose again. Ew. So what are the important things really to kind of, to tell you and to really tell Sophia at this time? I guess two things spring to mind. Firstly, Sophia, you are absolutely loved. You're my favorite daughter. You're my favorite son. <laughs> oh, Arsenal have been top of the league ever since you were born. And long may it continue. I'll show you some pictures of her that we've already taken, but she looks exactly like Joshua looked um, when they were first born. And even now, um, they just almost look so similar. It's not another you, is it? It's Sophia, your sister. And you have been, give me a kiss. I love you so much. I don't love the fact you just put snot on my nose. 
<laughs> We've got a welcome to the world party um, coming up in a couple of days time so we're going to have family and friends over to celebrate this little one but, but yeah I'm, I'm so thankful to God for her safe arrival. I just feel absolutely blessed. Thanks to you guys. Um, thank you for watching the videos. The last video, over half a million views, which was amazing. Um, this one, this is the kind of video I don't make um, for views. I just make because I want to, for memories, for us to look back as a family and obviously to share the news with you is really important as well. Three years of blessing and three days of... You've just turned my light off. On please. Thank you. If you're a parent yourself, you'll know the absolute joy. It's the most incredible thing in the world. I could not think of anything better. Making YouTube videos is cool to be a dad, way better. Ooh, and yeah, she's definitely done a poo. Nappy duty, that's up to me. See ya.